It has now been one full week since Somali-American police officer Mohammed Noor shot beautiful Australian yoga teacher Justine Damone in cold blood. Frustrations are mounting as there continue to be more questions than answers surrounding the suspicious shooting, and the Somali cop has yet to tell his side of the story. Now, a major lie told by Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges has been exposed, and it spells bad news for Noor. Despite the vast amount of attention the case has generated, Officer Mohammed Noor has somehow been able to elude investigators, who have already spoken to his partner, as well as a witness to the shooting who was riding by on his bicycle when Damone was killed, as Mad World News previously reported. To put Noor's silence into perspective, by contrast, Officer Hieronimo Yanez sat down with state agents the day after he shot Philando Castile in the nearby suburb of St. Anthony last summer. But, I digress. In the wake of last Saturday's shooting, Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges publicly stood in solidarity with Noor, saying, We can't compel him to make a statement. In other words, she didn't want to force the officer to tell investigators his version of events because he could incriminate himself in the process. It appears that Hodges was not telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, because according to police department regulations, nor can be compelled to make a statement, and if he refuses, he can be fired. A Minneapolis police officer who fatally shot Australian woman Justine Damone will be compelled to give a statement to his department as part of an internal investigation. Officer Mohammed Noor hasn't spoken with state investigators and doesn't have to. However, the police department's internal affairs unit can compel Noor to give a statement as part of its own investigation, and fire him if he refuses, said Minneapolis defense lawyer Joe Friedberg, who isn't involved in the case. Source, the West Australian, if you know anything about Mayor Hodges, it won't surprise you that she is backing Officer Noor all the way, even going as far as to force the resignation of the police chief who rightfully condemned his actions and the senseless death of Justine Damone. This is not the first time far left, liberal Mayor Betsy Hodges has sided with Muslims to the peril of her community. In fact, she even went so far as to release her election video in Arabic, according to Pamela Geller. Finally, we see a leftist politician defending a police officer, but only because he is a Muslim. Islam trumps all to these people. Black lives matter. Feminism, LGBT, nothing beats Islam. Nothing. This is the sad state of affairs that we are in as a country, and it's leading to our own detriment. Thanks to these liberal politicians, we are caving to the Islamization of our nation, where Islam reigns supreme over all others given a different set of rules to live by as non-believers are suppressed and even killed. This is the true face and cost of multiculturalism. Muslims are likely rejoicing as our own governing officials are helping them enact Sharia law, where Islam cannot be condemned. If you want to see how this plays out, you only need to look to the 50 Muslim countries in the world today, and it becomes obvious just how threatened our own culture values, and lives are with this brand of progress. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.